Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing this result. We have to find out the Kalis representation of Z3 in S3. Now, Kalis representation, whenever I see this word, the first thing that strikes you is nothing but Kalis theorem. What does Kalis theorem tell you? It tells you that every finite group of order n is isomorphic to a subgroup of SN. Now this statement is so strong that we cannot directly apply this statement to find out the Kalis representation. But if someone has done the proof of this statement, then they can think about how we can find out this Kalis representation and what does it mean. Let me just first answer the second question that is, what does it mean Kalis representation? As I said, every group of order n is isomorphic to the subgroup of Sn. The Kalis representation means you have to find out that subgroup of Sn which is isomorphic to that group of order n. Over here, I have to find out a subgroup of S3. For an example, H which is isomorphic to Z3. So, this Kalis representation means you are interested in finding out this subgroup which is isomorphic to Z3. Now, it looks difficult but it is one of the simplest questions. And if you answer this, this any question of the same type could be answered in the similar pattern. Right? If you want to find out any Kalis representation, the answer is in the same format. <coughs> okay? So, how to start? If someone has done the proof, they know that how we prove it to we use the concept of as you can guess we use the concept of functions defined from g to g what i am going to do is we define a function f a from z3 to z3 what i want i am interested in h which is a subgroup of S3. Apart from this, this is isomorphic to Z. Now, since this H is a subgroup of S3, what is this S3? This is nothing but what? This is nothing but set of all bijective functions from set of three elements to three elements. We call it as permutation, but the permutation is actually nothing but set of all bijective function from three element set to itself. So, what I defined, I defined F A from Z3 to Z3 as my F A of X bar is same as A bar plus X bar. If I want to write, I can write it like this as well. It should look better. So, that means how many such function you can define over here, this A bar is an any element of Z3. So, how many such function you can define? You can define three types of function. f of 0 bar, f of 1 bar and f of 2 bar. And how you will define? This would be defined as 0 bar plus x bar is same as your x bar plus 0 bar. That is same as x bar only. The second at x bar would be same as x bar plus 1 bar. And that is same as x plus 1 bar you may write. And similarly, x bar is same as x plus 2 the whole bar and that is that is the final one right so these are nothing but the three functions what student can observe is all this function all these three functions are bijective map are bijective map Right? You, you are not supposed to prove it because the way they are defined, they are going to work as a bijective map because they have the inverse. They are nothing but the bijective map on Z3. On to Z3, I will say. Correct? And if I consider my H, which is nothing but collection of this map, F of 0 bar, F of 1 bar, F of 2 bar. Then this H is a subgroup of order 3 
in S3, which is isomorphic to Z3. And how you can see it is isomorphic to Z3? Because we wrote over here as a function, but if I see more precisely, if I consider f of 0 bar, it is x bar goes to x bar. So, what can I observe? This is nothing but 1 bar goes to 1 bar, f of 0 bar, 2 bar goes to 2 bar and 0 bar goes to 0 bar. Right. So, if I want to write this in terms of permutation that you know, how can I write? I can write my f of 0 bar is same as 0, 1 bar, 2 bar is nothing but the input. I write the output at the bottom. So, 0 bar goes to 0 bar, 1 bar goes to 1 bar, 2 bar goes to 2 bar. Can you see, this is actually isomorphic to your 1, 2, okay, more precise, I should not write like this, it is an identity, right, so it is like this, 1, 2 and 3, it is nothing but the identity element inside S3, if I ask you for f of 1 bar, can you think how I can write f of 1 bar in terms of permutation, it is nothing but inputs are 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, outputs are nothing but 1 bar, 2 bar and 0 bar, and if I want to see, this is actually isomorphic to 1, 2, 3 in S3, right? Because 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 1. Similarly, if I think about f of 2 bar, it would be same as 0 bar goes to 2 bar, 1 bar goes to 0 bar and 2 bar goes to 1 bar. And if I see it is isomorphic to 1, 3, 2 in S3, therefore, my H which is same as identity element 1, 2, 3 and 1, 3, 2 is a subgroup of S3 isomorphic to my Z3. Right? So, this is the way you are supposed to think. Over here we are using this automorphisms from itself and uh, they have some special name as well. But how you are defining, you are defining the map as every element will get ad added by that representative. And how many representatives you can take? You can take three representatives, right? I hope you understood the way to write the solution. Still, if you have any doubt, difficulty, please be free to ask in the comment section. Okay? Thank you.